For this episode of Brutal Battle Beer Break, we're going to be looking at a beer from Neshaminy Creek Brewing, which is out of Croydon, Pennsylvania. I don't know if it's Croydon or Croydon. I don't know. Whatever. Um, out of a pounder, as people call it, 16-ounce can. Um, and this one's an Imperial IPA. It's called The Shape of Hops to Come. Uh, and one of the things I really like about this is that it has the hops written around the top here. But first, let me show you the shape of hops to come. Cool. And then you can see on the top, it has written around here all the hops, the five different hops that go into it. And that's uh, Apollo, Newport, Simcoe, Topaz, and Citra hops. I like when breweries do these kinds of things, uh, especially because on the just you know, auditory podcast, we've been doing a thing called Hop Knowledge where, you know, we learn gradually about different hops. So being able to know clearly from a label what hops are in there, it's kind of fun to see if you can pick out these flavors that you've learned uh, certain hops will impart on beer. So that's kind of fun. Uh, like I said, it's Imperial IPA. Uh, it looks like 9.5% alcohol by volume. So strong, strong. Pop this sucker open. I'm hoping for hoping for some resinous, dank qualities, which I'm assuming will be there. Uh, this was actually given to me to try by a listener, uh, Kyle Norman. Thank you very much, Kyle, for giving me this beer. He said that he thought it was a nice one, so looking forward to giving it a shot. Uh, plenty ahead as I poured it because, you know, coming out of a can, it gets a lot more air the way it flows out. Um, very orange, pretty clear, a little bit of like a chill haze to it, but by and large, it's relatively clear to see through there. Very orange though. Nice coloration for an Imperial. Ooh, I really smell those, those type of like Citra hops has like, like super fresh, like grapefruity notes to it. Man, this really juicy smelling, like super juicy Imperial IPA. Some nice malt to back it up, though, like coming in in the end, maybe a little bit of like an earthiness to finish, but up front it is just, it's so juicy. It's like I'm going to be biting into like a juicy grapefruit, some juicy oranges all mixed together. Um, from Citra, sometimes you get a little bit of like a kind of a body odor type um, smell to it. I don't get that. I only get like the super crazy citrus acidic type um, smells that you usually get from citra hops. But then it always a lot of times will have that BO type smell. Um, but this was blended so that, well, I'm sorry, not blended, it brewed so that that note is not really coming through, which is a note that kind of turns me off sometimes. And sometimes when it ends up in the actual flavor, even worse. This smells really amazing. Oh, that's nice. That's quite nice. Mm. It's got a lot of the same notes in the actual flavor as it does in the nose. You know, I'm getting that kind of grapefruit. Um, I'm getting that like extreme kind of like citrusiness, but um, it's a little more bitter than I assumed it would be. It's very much leaving me kind of like uh, I was chewing some of the rind of that grapefruit on the end. Not a bad thing. It's still nice. Pretty syrupy too. Um, let, me, let me taste one more. Yeah, like a medium syrupiness to it. Um, actually, not quite as, as uh, viscous as I was thinking it was going to end up being for 9.5%. Um, and smelling as, you know, hoppy as it smelled, you know, I would assume that's going to be a little more sticky and viscous, but it's a little less than I would assume, so it's kind of medium, like light medium. Um, nice beer. Uh, the bitterness lingers, but it's a nice bitterness. There's a little bit of like kind of like an earthy uh, pininess that does come in a tad bit on the end, um, but this is a very... Nicely done beer. All five of these hops go together in harmony. And um, thank you very much, Kyle Norman, listener, longtime listener, Kyle Norman. 
Um, thanks so much for, for giving me this here beer, this uh, Shape of Hops to Come. Um, I think this is the only second thing I've had from a Chamonix Creek. Uh, the other thing I had was like a coconut porter, which was also given to me by Kyle Norman. So love to try more of them. So Neshaminy Creek, if you happen to see this, start distributing in Maryland, please. I'd like to try more of your stuff. Or just uh, send me an email and you can send stuff onto the show for trying. Uh, email address, also for anyone who just wants to contact me about questions, comments, whatever, is uh, brutalbattlepodcast at gmail.com. Thanks, everyone, for watching this one, and stick around for others. You can also go back and check out the back catalog, not just of the Brutal Battle Beer Break videos, but of the actual Brutal Battle podcast, which is on iTunes and Stitcher, as well as just on the website, brutalbattle.com. Thanks so much, and go get yourself a beer.